What's up guys and how are you all doing? Hey, today we're going to be checking out how to auto start your Google Assistant is one of the many requested videos that people said was how do you auto start it? So that's what we're going to be doing today. If that sounds like something that is up your alley, then definitely stay tuned because it is coming up right here, right now on M.I. Sperry. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is to get started with auto starting our Google Pie Assistant. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have to do just like we did in the Amazon uh, Alexa auto start, is we're gonna create our own shell script and then add it to the auto start script that will uh, run when uh, it's booted, okay? So what we're gonna do is first off, let's make a script. So I'm going to VI, uh, let's call it Google, auto start dot sh sure good enough all right so okay well it doesn't like the oh i only have vi so in any case all right so first thing we need to do is we need to do our uh directive all right so to begin we're going to go ahead and start off our bash script so we're going to do the pound bang slash bin slash bash since that's the shell we're working in and then it's just two commands. It's very simple. First thing we need to do is set up our environment. So source env bin ba uh, activate. Sorry, bin bash, man. Stuck in my head. All right. And then we just have to start it. So we do Google assistant demo. And then we're going to fire that off with an ampersand. So that way it runs in the background. All right. And that's it. That's it for that. Now, the thing we have to remember is that whenever you create a new script, it's not going to have the execute command, okay? So, or permission. It's not going to have the execute permission. So, we're going to change mode that. Well, sudo do change mode. Give it plus execute. Now, if we do the ls-l on the Google, it's going to give us the execute. So, now we should be able to run it. So, let's go ahead and start it and make sure that it works. Got the microphone connected up. Uh, I'll show you, there is my setup, got my little microphone set up here, and here's a little, just a little dummy speaker, just so we can hear it. So I'm going to go ahead and click back on all, and we're going to do a dot slash Google auto start, and let's see if it fires it up. So we should see it start, oh, that's looking good, on finished. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 12.39. Okay. Okay, Google. What's the weather like? Right now in Andover, it's 48 and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 55 and a low of 43. Okay, right on. So this seems to uh, work, all right? So now what we need to do is we need to add it to the uh, auto start script. So to do that, we need to cd to slash dot config. And then we need to go to LX session. All right. Let's see. Let's get in there. Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to CD in the Pi's home directory to dot config. Okay. And then once in there, you CD to, I'm just going to go ahead and type it LX session and then the LX DE dash Pi. This is where we need to be. Okay. Um, and there's the auto start script. That's what we want uh, to do, okay, is that. So we're going to VI that, the auto start script. And then all we have to do is in here add the full path, home pi, to our Google one, which I have already forgot, <laughs> forgot the name of. What was that? <laughs> uh, slash, oh my gosh. Oh, whoops. S dash L. Uh, Google. Uh, enter, oops, star, Google auto start. There we go. So this is what we need to do. We need to take this whole thing. Let's just copy that, shall we? <laughs> oh, I tell you, sometimes, sometimes you just, your brain just goes, and then that's just all there is to it. This is all she wrote. So there we go. That's all we have to do is just add this to there. Done. All right. So now that we've done that, let's shut down. Now, let's reboot this thing, and it should boot up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that connection out, close that connection out, 
And then I'm going to do my little cheat here for seeing when it comes back. Uh, if you open up a uh, command terminal, you do a ping dash T. Uh, 48. Oh, well, it helps if you spell ping right. Ping. You can see, but wow. Well, it came back fast. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and SSH back to this. Let me pull up my putty. If you guys don't use putty, you're missing out here. Because putty totally rules. So, wow, man, that thing reboots quick. I got a new SD card that's, like, really fast. And so the thing, like, reboots like the wind. So, okay, so... The theory goes it should be working. I guess. Should we give it a shot? Okay, Google. What time is it? It's 12.45. And there she blows. All right. So that's basically how you auto start it. You just add it to that auto start script that's in dot config LX session LX or LX IDE pi. And that's where it is. If I can actually type. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was fairly quick. Uh, I hope I didn't take too much of your time, but this is basically a quick and easy way of auto starting your Google Assistant on boot. So guys, if you like that, make sure and let me know down in the comments. If you have any trouble or any problems with it, definitely let me know. Um, make sure and hit that like button. It helps out the channel a bunch, helps me keep bringing you these great videos and purchasing equipment and all that jazz. Uh, if you want to support things, check out Bitcoin. Also check out, I'm starting a forum down below so check out the google forum that i got going on because i'd love to get like a community because there's a lot of questions that get asked here um, on the different videos and uh unless you're on that video you don't see it so check out the forum link uh hit me up on all the different social medias um, i try to be as social as i possibly can post pictures and things of what i'm doing uh here lately it's been a while so i apologize for that but guys take care and i will see you next time Thank <laughs> you.